Hook up, hook up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Listen to that. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Wally Outdoors. I'm your host, Wally. In this episode, I'll be heading back up to Maine doing some smelt fishing. I'm um, going to try to do a little tutorial slash catch, clean, and cook video here for you guys and explain to you how I'm catching these fish, uh, whereabouts I am in Maine. Um, for anybody that might be interested, I've had a handful of people ask me on my other social media platforms uh, how they could go about getting up there and doing it and how it all works. So I'm going to try to explain a lot of that to you guys um, as I get up there and uh, show you what it's all about. So it should be a good time. I'm going to try to bring my little guy with me. It's going to be really cold, so I haven't 100% decided whether he's going to make it with me this time or not. But we'll see. I have my buddy uh, Eric and his father going as well. They're going to have a separate shack. So be a good pile of us up there having a great time. Bringing some venison, the cast iron skillet. So if nothing else, we're going to have a good meal too while we're up there. So stay tuned, guys. Next time you see me here, I'll be heading towards the camps. And uh, we'll go over the process of what happens and how I do it. And my rigs and everything else, what I'm using for bait, the whole nine yards. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? So we're at Cabela's. Bell is here over in Scarborough, Maine. We're gonna go in, grab a couple things while we're in here. Maybe uh, a couple of sabiki rigs, some stuff we're gonna use for tonight. So stay tuned. What's up, guys? So we just got here. We're in the shack and uh, getting all set up here. I'm just gonna show you my rig that we're using and uh, how we're catching these. Gonna try to catch the attempt to catch these smelts. So I just talked to the owner here who runs the camp, and he said it's been. Uh, Hit or miss. Last night they got about 50 or so in a tide, so we'll see how it goes. But let me show you what we're doing here. So I basically have a Saviki rig, and it's going to be hard to see with the light here, but it's just a series of hooks that comes down to a swivel that's tied off to my main line here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but hopefully there's enough light in here. And then at the end there's a little snap swivel, which I'm going to put a, a barrel weight on here. I'll show you that in a second. So this is the weight that I'm using. See that get you guys so we can see that. It's just a little barrel weight that I'm gonna hook on there. And then we're gonna use some sea worms for bait, and I'll show you those here. This is the bait. Nice piece of sea worm. I know the lighting is horrible, but hopefully you guys can see that. So you just cut a couple of pieces off the end of the tail there or whatever, and as you go, just put a little bit on the hook, and this is the size of the hook we're using. It's a number eight pretty small hook hopefully you guys can see that so but yeah so we're gonna get going here we're gonna get uh our uh, i got austin already rigged up you get anything yet or what yeah, few bites. you get a couple bites so we're gonna get these uh rigs down there and if the action starts picking up we'll let you know stay tuned all right show them what you got smelt smelt guys here they are austin just his he's only been down there a couple minutes he he got a double so you let him bite this is what they look like guys ah. tasty little morsels <laughs> don't drop them all right, grab them, throw them in the cooler here, bud. Get them in there. Drop them in. You gonna unhook the other one? Yeah, perfect. Hooks up too. I see. All right, so show him your rig. So he's got the sabiki, same thing going on there, guys, with his little weight at the bottom. So we're gonna see if we can't keep them, at, keep getting them, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. We wanna fill that bucket up. Let's do it, guys. A little fresh bait on here. Sometimes that might be the ticket. All right, guys, so I'm, uh, I'm actually, uh, I went live on Facebook here, too, so that's why you hear me talking to my phone. Turn you a little bit here. You can see the, actually, I'll show you the hole because you probably didn't see that. But this is the setup here. They cut big troughs in the, and they cut these I big troughs. One. Oh, Austin's oh. got one? Yeah, I got, got them. got them, nice. All right, cool. Well, on video, buddy. Show them. Show them. Show them the fish. There you go. All right, throw them on in the cooler here. I'm going to toss them in there. Get him up. All right, in the cooler he went. Give that camera a thumbs up. Say yeah. <laughs> Another one. Austin, show me a fish up there, buddy. I got it. Hold them up. You got one, guys. I'm getting ready to do some cooking here, so we'll see how it goes. The uh, camera's overheating on me up there, so I have to shut her down here every once in a while. But stay tuned. Hope we get a few more for you. All right, guys. All right, guys, well, we got some uh, home fries in the pan. We just had some scallops, courtesy of Eric. And I just threw a smelt on the pan. So we're uh, going to eat that and 
We're only getting a few. We got a little more than half. We got seven in there, six, seven, whatever it is. We got a couple. Hopefully it picks up, but uh, we're having fun. And uh, we're, yeah, eating, we we're eating little kings, right? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you say? Thanks to Eric? Yep. Thank you, Thanks, Eric. Eric. <laughs> we appreciate the scallops. Uh, we're going to probably save the venison for a little later, so stay tuned. We're having fun. Got the rods in. I can not cut. I cannot get another single bite. He's having a hard time over there. Mm -hmm. They're biting, a lot of them are biting, but they're just kind of barely tapping and they're not taking the whole hook in them all, so I don't know. Finicky fish, but we'll see. Maybe we can make it happen. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm over here. I just popped in over here to see how Eric was doing. And uh, these guys are, it's been slow. Slow for all of us. See what happens. You guys just finish your scallops up there? Yeah, scallops. You want to put venison on? Yeah, you got some venison there going on real short. We got two more hours of fishing. Yeah, yeah, why not? See what happens, right? Hey, it is what it is. We hear better than sitting on the couch, right? And cheaper than a bar. I told Eric, I said, they come down. It's 35 hours a person, right? Yeah. Go sit in a bar for six hours. Yeah, What do you get? You can have beer and have a shot or whatever. That's it. This is a lot more fun in my opinion. A lot more fun in my opinion. I'm glad you guys sure. are having a good time. This is the first time both of you, right? Yep. Yeah. First time coming yeah. up. Yep. Well, hopefully uh, it picks up here. We'll, we'll see I what think happens. It's gonna pick up. We're going to cross our fingers. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. He got one. He got one. Trophy. Trophy. Hold him up. Let's see the trophy. Well, hold on. <laughs> are you lipping him? I got to lip him. <laughs> I don't know if I can. <laughs> don't stick him ripping his head off. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's awesome. Hold them close. And I get it okay, you make them look bigger. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Slimy bastards. All right, good job. Oh, you're getting a couple anyway. Fresh bait did it. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Yeah. We're getting a couple, guys. We're getting a couple, so. See what happens. Any big ones? Nothing. I got one bite. One bite while I was gone? That was it. That was it. One, one bite right fresh here. bait. Eric just got one. Put he fresh did? bait on. He did? He did. All right, guys, I moved the camera over here because uh, I had it up too high over here. It was overheating with the stove. So we'll see if I can keep it, to re uh, keep it recording here. The venison going. Austin just caught another one. So we got like, I don't know, eight or nine now. But it's pretty slow. Still having fun. Getting some bites here and there, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I got one bite. Yeah, small one. Small one, but I got one. That's a doinkaroo, huh? Compared to this guy. <laughs> Well, I got one, guys. Not a big one, but I got one. It's a small one compared to You getting bites? No. Oh, that's a yeah. Careful, yeah, careful, yeah. careful. You got them? Fish on. Nice. I got one. All right, hold them over here to the camera. We will see. Take them off and we'll hold them up. You hooked yourself. <laughs> yep. In the hand? Oh, yeah. Of course. Let me see, hold them up. Austin just got one. Hold them up to that camera over there, see? Yep. All right, Austin got one, guys. When I wasn't expecting it, I just saw my line moving. Cool, man, you got one. Say you're bored, now you're not bored, right? Nope, not anymore. <laughs> that was cool, man. My line just started moving. Yeah? Yep. That's all I saw. I think I got something on my house line now. Might. Because it's moving. It stopped. Oh, I got one, buddy. Go, go. Hey, hold, hold that. I got two. I got one. Big one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Check that bad boy out. Let me see that. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> got one, guys. I think it's coming back. Ready? Check them out. You hold them tight so they don't fall in the water. There he is. <laughs> Here. Hold on, let me hold him up so the camera can see him. Look at that, guys. 
Smell the Reno. <laughs> Reno bucket. Oh. They're slippery. There you go. Yeah, On the yeah. house line. Oh yeah, you can put it down there if you want. Just set it right here. Thanks, buddy. Yep. I think the action's coming back. Maybe. We're getting a couple. Yep, my house line's getting bit, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Oh, I got another one. Get him. Let me see. Nice, dude. He was, it wasn't even moving. Hold on, let me see. Hold him up over Hold here. my rod for a second. All right, that's your rod. It wasn't even moving. I it swear. It wasn't moving. He was barely even moving. Hold on, let me see that. What you got there? You got one? All right. Another one. Uh, nice. Good job, man. That's a bite. I got one, bud. Good. Another one. Nice. Starting to get them. Hopefully it stays like this for a while. There's one, guys. Another one. Hey. Check that one out. That works. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a nice one right there, guys. <laughs> flopping around. Put them in the cooler. We're flopping around. The Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah, buddy. Well, <laughs> Another one. And then we might be doing it again. You got another one? It's a smaller one, but That's yeah. All right, hey, good job. Let me see. I'm showing off to the camera here. Smaller one. Hey, you got another one. Sweet. I'll show you guys what the what the hole looks like here. These are house lines. This little purple uh, circle thing that they got on there, they float. So when the fish hit these house lines, um, these are separate from the sabiki rigs I have. These are just they're just a plain weight with a small hook at the bottom. So uh, basically, what's going on here is uh, they're, uh, when they hit this, you'll see that as I'm moving it, you'll see that little bobber bobber so to speak that'll move like this in the in the hole you know you got a bite so i'm just gonna let it sit here for a second i'll move them for a sec maybe you'll see uh maybe you guys will get to see one actually bite it let's see if i can show you over here i have another single hook rig with a uh that has just this one here is just a, what they call a spring bobber i put on the end there so when they hit that that little spring bobber just kind of bon bounces Tide's starting to move a little, and we just started getting more bites here, so maybe it'll uh, pick up a little bit. But anyway, over here is my, this is my sabiki rig, which I can show you because the water isn't very deep right now, but that's my sabiki rig there coming up. So I still have that set up. Oh, we got bite here. Look, guys. I'll show you. See that? See how it's moving in the hole? Let's see if he comes back and hits it again. Oh, see it moving there now? So that's a fish. I'm just gonna try to. Oh, I missed them. And then up above here, these house lines have a. This is a springboard, so this is all attached to a board. See if that moves up and down on bungees, which is really cool. So if you guys don't have rods, you can still come down here and you can still uh, fish. You don't need the rods. You can use these house lines. They have all the weights on them, and then the hook. This hook comes off the weight right here, the bottom. There's your hook, and then that little bobber's up top there. This one happens to be orange, so pretty cool. And then when you're standing up, you can actually reach up and grab the board and just kind of bounce it with your hands. And what that does is it makes all these, all your baits down here move at the same time. So you can kind of give them a little jigging motion. Oh, now I got a fish biting on this red one. See it moving there, guys? So we can get them. Oh, no go, but at least we're getting bit. So stay tuned here. We'll see if we can get some more action. Another one. I got another one. Is it on? Yep. Oh, it's a big one. Get him over here. Sweet. Let me see that bad oh, boy. Watch giant. your line on the stove. Watch your line on the stove. You'll burn your line right off. Let me see him. Show him up. Bring him close like this over here. Look at that one, guys. Here, take him off the hook. I'll show him to the camera. That's a good one. You got another one, guys. Austin is lighting him up tonight. He's outfishing the old man. 
I don't have any problems with that. I'm glad he's having a good time. Let me see him, bud. Let me see, hold on to him. I'll put him in there for you. There you go. There's Austin Smelt, guys. Good job, dude. Thumbs up for the camera? Yep. All right. Good job. All right, guys. So here we go. We got, uh, what would you say? 16. 16 of them? Yeah. 16 we total. Cooked, we cooked we one. Cooked, we did cook one. We on had the, 17. On the but... stove over here, but we got uh, seven, 17 in here now? We had 17. Had 17, so we got and 16 we total. 16. We got it about another hour or so to go, oh. but it's slow tonight. But at least we didn't get skunked. We had a good time. We caught some. Um, How many did you guys end up with? Well, right now, I think we got 16. We had 17 total. Oh, I'm talking to Eric next door. Yeah, how many did you guys get? 10. So Eric got 10 next door. So it's been slow. Everybody else, all the other camps here are just talking. And everybody else is uh, kind of doing not the greatest, too. I think one guy at the end got about 25 or something. So not a crazy night, but we're having fun. We've got an hour left. If we get any more action, we'll let you know. All right, guys, it's going to be the end of our smelt fishing trip. We're just uh, packing everything up here. We're going to be heading home. Um, I might make a little two-part series out of this. We got enough fish to have like a little uh, appetizer for the two of us or something for a meal or whatever. But it was a good time. I'm going to go over here and say goodbye to uh, my buddy Eric and his father. So hold on just a sec. I'll go over there and say goodbye to these guys. Guys, we're signing out here. All right, guys. Say bye to everybody in the Wally Outdoors world. <laughs> hey, you got some smoke to take home, right? <laughs> you got a couple anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you did and you haven't subscribed, think about doing so. Hit that notification bell so you can catch my future episodes. And for now, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.